Good morning, Vietnam. Sorry, it's been a while, guys. I've uh, I've just been a bit busy since my last video. Being a daddy, husband, businessman, I've got things to do, and unfortunately, I can't always find the time to record. And sometimes when I do, the videos don't turn out that great anyway, so they don't get posted. Right, here's a new one for you. So, I've seen a couple of comments saying I'm moaning a little bit too much and I'm being too negative towards the CX and its workload. Well, that's just my opinion and I'm always going to be honest with you guys. So I thought I'd go back and have a look at this year so far. See how well I've done through the exchange. Whether it's been worth it or not. How many jobs I've done. How many have subbed out. And just, should I keep my, should I keep it? Should I not keep it? I'm going to keep it because it comes in handy. I'll explain why. So this year from the 1st of January to today the 27th of august 2024 i have done a whopping 17 jobs on the exchange yeah that's not very many is it what's that over the eight months it's like just over two well, it's two a month plus an extra job i think or something like that it's not very many at all but that's all i managed to win I have been busy with my own customers throughout the year, obviously, but I've not been able to get them backloads. 17 jobs isn't enough really, is it? It did give me a revenue of around £3,000, which should cover the subscription, but once you take into account fuel running costs etc for them 17 days well for the entire year let's say it doesn't come anywhere near covering it really does it but that's not necessarily what i use the exchange for don't get me wrong i do try and find backloads on the exchange i just really struggle to get them but what i use the exchange for mainly is to get my customers jobs covered whereas i only personally did 17 jobs I managed to sub out 402 over the same time period, which it's good going, I think. Not too shabby. Which means I can fulfill all my customers' needs. I've never let them down. Apart from one mistake I made, but I rectified that and I fixed it and it cost me a bit of money, but hey ho, that's what you've got to do to keep your customers happy. But that came with a price. So, I have spent on drivers that I have booked through the exchange and a couple that aren't on the exchange through the WhatsApp group a whopping £60,000 plus VAT already this year. Boy, that escalated quickly. Oh, that is a mind-blowing figure, honest to God. When I, when, I, when I sat down and did them figures earlier, I was in shock. I didn't realise it was anywhere near that amount. It's just mad. But that's why I need the exchange. I need it because I need to sub in my customers' workout. And that's the reason that I have my subscription. So when you say I'm moaning and I'm being negative, I'm being negative towards one part, towards the actual workload on there. Because if you look at it, from an outsider's point of view, look at how many drivers there are compared to how many jobs are posted every day. There's not enough jobs for every driver to do more than one to two jobs a day. And when you're doing small jobs, you need three or four. If you're doing distance, you still want two. There's not enough work on there. So that's why I say it. But the, I am positive on the, on the platform for other reasons, because that's how I manage to fulfill my customer's work. 402 jobs. Imagine if I hadn't recovered those, somebody else would have, and it would no longer be my customer. And I want them to be my customers, and I want that nut figure to keep growing and growing. We're in year three. We're in year three. We're in year four. So we've 
we're three and a quarter years in well three and a quarter years into doing this on our own now and every year it's got slightly better slightly better yes i'm nowhere near at the stage i want to be at but with the help of said platform it has helped me fulfill work and grow as a company and earn money which is absolutely brilliant so yes you may think i'm being negative and i'm being um whatever but that's towards the workload i if you do it yourself some days it is difficult to get out on the road for decent money and if you take crap money and you've got nothing coming back then you're knackered you're just running dead for no reason and there's plenty of drivers this year that are packing it in for the same reasons plus on the exchange there's so many dodgy outfits dodgy drivers that will co-load that will go miles out of the way when they're supposed to be doing a direct delivery for you and it's happening every single day on there that somebody does something like that but nothing changes they don't get booted off i had that experience where my job got resold on literally nothing happened about it it was it's ridiculous like but that's just the way things are if you want to use it because you've got your own customers and you want to sub your work out by all means brilliant go for it it's probably the easiest one to use i've considered using delivery app for instance that i've got to pay up front i don't have the money up front i'm going to wait go away for my customers to pay me so hey ho i may complain but i do like the platform for certain aspects not for others i do eventually want to move away from relying on it so much though because i'd much rather have honest drivers that i can trust and just phone rather than having to wait for bids to come in on my work set let's say so i want to still grow the whatsapp group to more people we've got 100 odd people in there now and they're all great drivers i need to get some more in there because no, I don't think even 50% of the workloads getting covered by the WhatsApp group at the minute because it's all about right time, right place, and it's a very difficult thing to do. So if we can build that a bit more, that'd be fantastic. Yes, I know there's people that have messaged me, and I'm not going back to you. I have been busy, like I said. Uh, I will try and get back to everyone as soon as I can. Um, and I want to get my own drivers because from the figures I've done on paper, I the company learn more running our own vehicles paying our own drivers than it does subcontracting which sounds mad to be honest but i i just that's how it works out for some reason even with paying someone's holidays and sick pay and stuff like that it still works out better if someone takes the mic obviously it wouldn't work out better but hopefully you find the right people sort of thing don't you so i do eventually want to move away from relying on as much i'm not saying i'm gonna get rid of my membership because i'm probably still gonna need it if i want to keep growing my business but it's definitely something that i want to move away from as much don't want to rely on it as much if you get what i mean